A day of celebration for the 13th Asagba of Asaba. Professor Chike Edoze, who clocked 90 recently, and the revered monarch did not let the day go by without marking it in a very special way. The event took place in Asaba, the Delta State capital. Enjoy it. <laughs> The Oshimili Arcade in Asaba, the Delta State capital, was the venue where people from all walks of life converged for an interdenominational service to mark the 90th birthday of the Asaba of Asaba, Professor Chike Edozien. He arrived at the venue in the company of his wife, Modube, to an eagerly waiting crowd that had gathered. Also at the event to celebrate him was the Delta State Governor, Dr. Ifan Yokoa, and other members of the state executive and legislative arm of government. Bravo. Bravo, bravo. The service featured renditions by choristers from the Asaba Regional Choir, Church of God Mission, and the Anglican Choir. Obi Chike Dozien was born on the 28th of July 1925 in Asaba. He had his primary education at the Catholic school in Wari from 1933 to 1937 and secondary education at Christ the King College, Onija, from 1938 to 1942. He studied at the University College in Dublin, Ireland from 1944 and completed his Bachelor of Science with honours in Physiology, a Bachelor of Medicine and a Bachelor of Chemotherapy in 1954. In 1990, he was selected to become the 13th Asaba of Asaba. Many say his reign as the Asaba has been peaceful and has brought development to the area. This was reiterated by the governor. A man of a lot of wisdom. And we need to tap into that experience and into that wisdom. As I congratulate you, I also want to congratulate you for the reforms that you have brought into Asaba. Very importantly, is the issue of the burial rights. We may gloss over it, but it's done a lot by changing the trend that we did see in the past, where people will bury their parents and their loved ones. And for several years, they will continue to pay for the monies that they borrowed to do burials. So we thank you for that reform, and we believe that many more reforms will come at your time. Because God definitely is going to give you many more years. Archbishop of Enugu Province and the Bishop of Enugu Diocese of the Anglican Communion, Most Reverend Emmanuel Chikuma, 
lauded the monarch in his sermon. Celebrating you today, Ago, it's not because of your achievements, Fasada. It's not because of all you have done, Fasada. Let me say it quite clear. But it's because people don't know the man. It's because you have people, good people around you. It's because God has blessed you with good things around you. Because human beings are so difficult that you cannot satisfy them. But you must bear in mind that as a leader and as a king, let us know that people expect a lot of things from you. People from us who are bishops and are bishops. But you cannot do everything without God's strength. Ago, you have done your best. But in the remaining years of your life, it is now time for you to tell people around you, I want the legacies that you will be left behind after I must have gone. Some prominent Nigerians here include the wife of the former president of Nigeria, Mrs. Bola Obasanjo, former deputy governor of Delta State, Chief Benjamin Elue, Ide Ahaba of Asaba, Chief Sunny Odogu, the vice chairman, South South Zone of the People's Democratic Party, Chief Dr. Cairo Ojubo, as well as traditional rulers from across the state. service was followed by a reception. The monarch then had a picture session with his children. I thank everybody here this wonderful location. I pray that God will give me Opportunity for you to serve you, to serve our state, to serve Nigeria. May God bless you all, and I thank you very much for coming to this occasion. I could not have borne the burden of kinship without the support of the woman I love. <laughs> He is 90 years old and 25 years on the throne as Asaba of Asaba. We wish him many more years of good health and sound mind. <laughs>